friends, his wife, his fun, indentious free. Strong his arm and keen his scent. He's a pilot now, indeed. Here's with love to friends. Which were bent on signalizing with an unusual air. Here's the Lord to fetch his ventures, fetch his house of his intentions. Oh, 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 the fire is here, and we are the will of fire with us. And to make us more than ever, he lets the fire and not for us. Yes, I have done my best for you. And why? It was my duty under my indentures, and I am the slave of duty. As a child, I was regularly apprenticed to your band. It was through an error. Oh, no matter, the mistake was ours, not yours, and I was in honor bound by it. An error? What error? I mustn't tell you, it would reflect upon my well-loved roof. Nay, dear master! My mind has long since been ignored by the cankering tooth of mystery. Better have it out at once. <laughs> Which 
what I have long pardoned you. <laughs> the two worlds were so much alike. <laughs> they were. They still are, though years have rolled over their heads. But this afternoon, my obligation ceases. Individually, I love you all with an affection unspeakable. But collectively, I look upon you with a disgust that amounts to absolute detestation. <laughs> oh, pity me, my beloved friends, for such is my sense of duty that once out of my intentions, I shall feel myself bound heart and soul to devote myself to your extermination. Poor man! Poor man! Well, Frederick, if you conscientiously feel it is your duty to destroy us, we cannot blame you for acting on that conviction. Always act in accordance with the dictates of your conscience, my boy, and chance the consequences. Besides, we cannot leave with little temptation to remain with us. We don't seem to make piracy pay. I'm sure I don't know why, but we don't. <laughs> I know why, but alas, I mustn't tell you, it, it wouldn't be right. Why not, my boy? It's only half past eleven, and you're one of us until the clock strikes twelve. <laughs> True, and until then, you are bound to protect our interests. Here, here! Yeah. Well, then it is my duty as a pirate to tell you that you are too tender-hearted. For instance, you make a point of never attacking a weaker party than yourselves. But when you attack a stronger party, you invariably get thrashed. Oh, there is some truth in that. <laughs> then again, you make a point of never attacking an orphan. Of course. We are all orphans ourselves, and we know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but it is got about. And what is the consequence? Everyone we capture says he's an orphan. The last three ships we captured proved to be manned entirely by orphans, and so we had to let them go. One would think that Great Britain's mercantile navy were recruited solely from her orphan asylums. Which we know is not the case. But hang it all, you wouldn't have us absolutely merciless. There's my difficulty. Until twelve I would, after twelve I wouldn't. Was ever a man placed in so delicate a situation? And Ruth, your own Ruth, whom you love so well, who's won the middle-aged way into your boyish heart. Oh. What is to become of her? Oh, he will take you with him. <laughs> but, but Ruth, I feel some little difficulty about you. It is true that I admire you very much, but I've been constantly at sea since I was eight years old, and yours is the only woman's face I've seen in that time. I think it is a sweet face. It is. Oh, it is! I say, I think it is. That is my impression. But, as I have never had the opportunity of comparing you with other women, uh, it is just possible that I may be mistaken. True. <laughs> what a terrible thing it would be if I were to marry this innocent person, and then find out she is on the whole plane. Oh, Ruth! Ruth is very... well. Very well indeed. <laughs> Yes, there are the remains of a fine woman about Ruth. <laughs> you really think so? I do. But then I will not be so horrible oh. as to take her from you. Oh. In justice to her and in consideration for you, I will leave her behind. Mm. Oh. No, no, Frederick, it cannot be. We are rough men. Rough! Who lead a rough life. Rough, rough! But we are not so utterly heartless as to deprive thee of thy love. No, I think I'm right in saying that there is not one here who would rob thee of this inestimable treasure for all the world holds dear. Not one! No, I thought there wasn't. Keep thy love, Frederick. Keep thy love. You're very good, I'm sure. Well, Frederick, it's the top of the tide and we must be off. Farewell, and mourn you when your process of extermination begins, that our deaths be as swift and painless, as you can conveniently make them. <laughs> I will. By the love I have for you, I swear it. Would that you could render this extermination unnecessary by accompanying me back to civilization? Oh, no, Frederick, it cannot be. I don't think much of our profession, but contrasted with respectability, it is comparatively honest. No, Frederick, I shall live and die a pirate king. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, better far to live and die under the brave 
with black flag I fly, then play a sanctimonious part with a pirate head and a pirate heart. <laughs> But I'll be true to the song I sing and live and die a pirate king. For I am the pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. A pirate king, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be a pirate king. It is a pirate I sink a few more ships, it's true, than a well-bred monarch ought to do. Oh, 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 oh. But when you came on that first class throne, oh, he wants to call his crown his own. Must manage somehow to get through more dirty work than ever. on my own experience. I wish to do the right thing. And if, I say, if you really are a sweet woman, then your age shall be no obstacle to our union. Ha! Ah, surely I hear voices. Who has ventured to approach our all but inaccessible lair? Can it be Chi Omega? No, it is not Chi Omega. Confusion! It is the voices of young girls. If he should see them, then I am lost! By all that's marvelous! A bevy of beautiful maidens! Lost! 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 How lovely! How surpassingly lovely is the plainest of them! What grace, what delicacy, what refinement. 
And Ruth, Ruth told me she was beautiful. <laughs> oh, false one, you have deceived me.
in all probability, we are the first human beings who ever step foot in this enchanting spot. Except for the mermaids. It is the perfect spot for mermaids. Who are only human beings down to the place. And who can't be said strictly to set foot anywhere. <laughs> Tails they may, but feet they cannot. <laughs>
senses, men who stick at no offenses will anon be here. Piracy, the dreadful trade is, pray get ye handsome ladies while the coast is clear. No, we must not lose our senses. Tactics than a novice in a nunnery. 
in sorts when I have a smattering of elemental strategy. Strategy. Strategy, then. Strategy, 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 strategy. Got it! You'll see a better meeting general has never said it! See a better meeting general has never said it! See a better meeting general has never said it! See a better meeting general has never said it! See a better meeting general has never said it! Oh, my military knowledge of a buggy and adventure has only been brought down to the beginning of the century. I'm still in the matter of the general. I am the very moral of a common meeting general. I'm the very moral of a common meeting general.
such opportunity to get married with impunity. But we give up the publicity, our unbounded domesticity, though a doctor of divinity is located in this vicinity.
I will try, dear Mabel. But why does he sit night after night in this drafty old ruin? Why do I sit here? <laughs> to escape the private squatches, I describe myself as an orphan. <laughs> I am no orphan. I came here to humble myself before the tombs of my ancestors and to implore their pardon for having brought dishonor on the family of Scotch. <laughs> but you forget, sir, you only bought the property a year ago and the stucco on your baronial castle is scarcely dry. Baby, there are spirits here. You cannot deny that. Yeah. With the estate, I purchased the chapel <laughs> and its contents. I don't know whose ancestors they were, but I do know whose ancestors they are. And I shudder to think that their descendants by purchase, if I may so describe myself, should have brought dishonor on what I have no doubt was an unstained discussion. Be comforted. Had you not acted as you did, then these reckless men would assuredly have called in the nearest clergyman and have married your large family on the spot. I thank you, Bignon. Proper solace, but it is indeed unavailing. I assure you, Frederick, such is the anguish and remorse I feel at the abominable falsehood by which I escape those easily deluded pirates that I was ready to go to their simple-minded chief this very night and confess all. Did I not realize that the consequences would be most disastrous toward myself? At what time is your expedition march against those scoundrels? At eleven, and before midnight I hope to return for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourges by sweeping them from the face of the earth. And then, dear Mabel, you will be my... Are your devoted followers at hand? They are. They only await my orders. Then, Frederick, let your escort lie in heart be summoned to receive a general's blessing. Upon the dread adventure. Dear sir, they come.
Some to create a stress on the wrist that on us press And a prayer for ends our life to our chance of coming back Still perhaps it won't be wise not to count Chris boys For it's very evident these attentions are well meant Yes, it's very evident these attentions are well meant Evident, yes, well meant, evident, ah yes, well meant
of February. And so, through a simple arithmetical process, you will easily discover that though you've lived 21 years, and yet, if we go by birthdays, you're only five. <laughs> And a little bit over. <laughs> Dear me, let's see. Yes, yes, with you, all my fingers do agree. <laughs> How quaint the ways of paradox. At common sense she gave me mocks <laughs> For counting in the usual way Yes, twenty-one I've been alive Yet reckoning by my natal date Yet reckoning by my natal date One, two, three, four I am a little boy of five. I am a little boy of five. <laughs> a paradox, a paradox, a most ingenious paradox. General Stanley, the father of my Mabel. Yes, yes, yes. He escaped from you on the plea that he was an orphan. He did. It breaks my heart to betray the honored father of the girl I adore. And yet, as your apprentice, I have no alternative. It is my duty to tell you that General Stanley is no orphan. What? More than that, he never was one. Oh. Am I to understand that in order to save his contemptible life, he dared to practice an incredulous simplicity? Oh, our revenge will be swift and terrible. We will go and collect our band and attack Chamon Castle this very night would stay not a word. He is doomed. Away, away, my heart's on fire. I know this base deserves you to repay. This very night, my vengeance dire shall cut itself in your away.
traitor dies. Yes, yes, to make the traitor dies. Yes, yes, to make the traitor dies. Tonight he dies. Tomorrow his colors like wine. They will melt away so good. The bottoms of the heart. In the cage of the cherries. I saw the blood. To make the traitor Tonight he dies. It's early tomorrow. His colors like wine. They will melt away so
turn and cling you, I declare it. It seems so long. I swear that till then you will be true to me. Yes, I'll be strong. By all the Stanley said and done, I shall be. Guys. 
Jobs and his employment. His employment. Our maturing is for now his little plans. Little plans. His capacity for innocent enjoyment. Innocent enjoyment. It's just as great as any honest man. Honest man. Our feelings we with difficulty smother. When can stab you there, he duties to be done. To be done. Our type won't consider right with another. With another. Our policeman's law is not a happy one. Vocabulary duties to be done, to be done. A policeman's law is not a happy one, happy one. When the enterprise in food was not a hurdling, not a hurdling. When that cutthroat is in occupied in crime, I am crying. He loves to hear the little brook a gaggling, and listen to the merry village chime. Village chime. When the cost is finished, jumping on his mother. His mother. He loves to lawyer basking in the sun. In the sun. Oh, take one consideration with my number. Duties to be done, to be done. A policeman's law is not a happy one, happy one. Wait. 
face to see you worked upon our feelings. Revenge is sweet and flavors all our dealings. With courage rare and resolution manly, for death prepare unhappy General Stanley.
Alone his fist of fly, which were bent on signalizing when 